move oh what's going on this is josh back with another one anyway video for you guys giving y'all some bangers so go ahead and make sure you subscribe to my channel and post notifications if you are new and if you have not turned it on make sure you turn it on so that way you are notified when i'm posting these bangers because i'm gonna come back with more of these so you already know i'm hitting them you know what I'm saying? We going, we going 10 for 10, 100 for 100, thousands or thousands, bangers on bangers. So make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you are new and do all that good stuff. Leave any comments, add me on Snapchat because I will be here for you guys. So today's video, we're going to be talking about going from 180 to 360s and why you should go 180 first if you are extremely new to waves. I really want to get on this subject because I just feel like a lot of people do not understand what it takes to get 360 waves. So going 180 is a lot smoother. It's going to be a better process for you and you're going to understand the mechanics to get to a higher level or a higher degree of waves. It'll kind of like, kind of like a more. Um, yeah, back to what I was saying. I was saying that, yeah, you want to transition to 180 first because this is going to be a better, smoother feel for you. Like once you can get the tops right, you can pretty much get it anywhere. So once you learn that, okay, I need to be consistent, I need to keep my hair up, I need to keep my haircuts right, and you get my fade right, it makes everything smoother. But just jumping in 360, you can sometimes get intimidated with it. I know that was something that I struggled with because there's so much to worry about. It was just like, okay, I gotta make sure I do the crown, I gotta make sure I get the, the bag, the side, make sure are right, all that. That was just a big deal. Like doing 360s is, it's not complicated, but it can be a lot for a noob, you know, newbie, a bot, if you will. You know what I mean? Like it's just, sometimes it can be a lot. So go on 180. Once you figure out the top, this is really just simple. And then you get the right brush. You're going to have waves going to pop out and you wear your do-rag, you know, you wear a nice silky, you're going to be good. So one of waves is just, for me, I, I I purposely choose 180 waves. And I'm, I don't use it as a starting point. I use it as like my hairstyle. That's one I like the most out of all the waves. So that's how I look at it. But if you are new, you can look at it more as into a uh, starting point. You can look at it as to like, okay, this is where I want to begin. And then I'll end with 360s. So that's just what it is. But you know, once you get the top, once you get the brush, once you get the pattern down, it's a piece of cake. So you just want to make sure that you understand what you have to do and stay on point with your method, whatever method you have, you know, shower brushing, that's personally what I recommend to you guys, but you know, shower brushing, uh, your brush sessions, once you keep up with that, it's, it's, it's so much easier because you don't have to worry about a crown, you don't have to worry about the size as much, you don't have to worry about the back really, and if anything, you can just fade it out for any size that you don't like or the back you don't like, you can just do that. So that and then your haircut is gonna last a lot longer that's one thing i do like about how 180 waves is that once i get a 180 wave cut i know i can transition to 360s like i know i can go from 180 to 360s when my hair grows back in and my back is right so it's really not a lose in this situation like you can really just transfer right into it go right into where you need to be learn the mechanics go crazy with it brush and it, it's no it's no loss you're not taking no loss on it so that's why i want to recommend to you guys um definitely think about that if you are watching my videos and you haven't transitioned yet like you haven't done either 180 or 360 start 180 first um and you know work your way up um one one of the main problems too with i think doing 360 waves like jumping straight into 360 waves is just the fact of um your pattern messing up that was one thing that really pissed me off like i just really hate that it was just that i'll put all this work in if i my durag came off or something like that or or the sun was shining a weird way it's just like i noticed my um my pattern wasn't where it needed to be and uh, yeah, I just noticed my pattern was off or one day my pattern would be shift, like my pattern could shift and everything like that. And I just feel like for a beginner, that can be a pain. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, I'm not saying everything's just easy, but it's just that I recommend if you go through 180, you understand at least the top. So just think about it that, that way. And then the brushes aren't as complicated because you don't have to, you don't have to turn your brush. You don't have to really, really focus too much in the mirror. You know, I just say just rotate hands and everything, but you should be fine with that. But 
yeah 360 was just like the pattern kept shifting the crown sometimes the crown may not work out for you you got to figure out if you want to be higher beehive or swirl that's going to confuse a lot of people i mean depending on what type of hair type you have or just kind of like what you do know about waves that can be pretty intimidating pretty confusing for you so you know just start off with one anyway just go through with that you know a lot of times if you are watching my videos you can comment on it you can comment on other people's posts and i know a lot of people have do actually like one anyways a lot of people do like having that um haircut so you can even ask them you can for sure ask me but um yeah and then two like if you are younger like if you are a younger viewer of mine and you you want to get waves and you want to learn the process just go 180 waves first like i just i just think a lot it's a lot simple too if you're a younger guy because you don't have to really worry about okay if i'm playing sports if i'm in football if i'm in baseball track soccer you know anything like that like i don't really have to worry about my pattern too much it's not about myself on me and it's just you know it's just it's simple it's just like a no-brainer you know what i mean like you can just wash your hair good your go like good and go because it's you know, 360 waves, you're gonna be in the bathroom a lot more. Honestly, you're gonna be in the bathroom ch chilling, brushing, figuring out your pattern, you know, getting mad. Um, everything like that, getting mad and uh, trying to figure out what you can do to get your waves to be better. But um, yeah, I mean, that's just a part of it. Also too, you know, back to it do not use a brush too if you're doing three so if you're going for 180 360 just don't use this brush at all i mean if this is the only thing you got yeah i understand but like do not just keep using bad brushes this is gonna make the process a lot harder just need to throw that in because a lot of times that does happen to a lot of people and they do not like how their ways are looking so just make sure you're using a good brush brushing daily brush for an hour and you should be good and then you can you can decide if you want to do 360s you can decide if you want to do 180s and go from there so yeah that's the end of the video thanks so much for watching i'll see you in my next video make sure you subscribe ask me any questions and i'll see you i'm out <laughs>